starting day two of chapter 1.6 I think yesterday we did a lot of what we needed to really have and so today is going to be more of a uh, extension slash review to make sure we still remember everything we've done up to this point so yesterday we learned how multiplication and division works with positive signs and negative signs we learned that uh, one negative makes the answer negative because we learned that this thing here with one negative flips over to be negative uh, we also learned that whenever you have two negatives that this thing gets flipped twice which of course makes it positive so again the overall idea in multiplication and division is that one negative makes it negative two negatives makes it positive if that's all you really learned yesterday you're in decent shape in terms of what um, how the algebra works um, but before moving on to the next topic I need to make sure we understand how to multiply and divide fractions with a couple of examples so here's a set of notes for you to multiply fractions this is all you need to write and label it as multiplying fractions because that's all it is top times top bottom times bottom so if you ever had to multiply two fractions multiply not add but if you had to multiply two fractions and you didn't have a calculator you could actually do a lot of the work in on your own because really it's not that hard to do here's the first thing I do I count the negatives and I recognize that there's one negative so my answer is going to be negative negative. and then I do top times top which means I do four times three which is twelve and then I do bottom times bottom which is 7 times 8 or 56 the last thing I do and this is again where you want to make sure you know what's going on is I reduce that 12 over 56 equals and remember to reduce it I hit math enter enter to get 3 fourteenths sorry a negative 3 fourteenths because it is negative now you could also go ahead and type it as it is remember your fractions get put into parentheses so negative and you might want to type this for yourself to make sure you can do it but negative 4 over 7 times parentheses 3 over 8 equals and again you get the decimal hit math enter enter and you get your answer of negative 3 fourteenths which is what it really is so today is not so much about you being able to uh, think your way through it as much as it is making sure you know how to just find the answer because there are two different types of math there is one where you know how to find the answer and one where you uh, think your way through it this is just where we want to make sure you know how to get the right answer on it uh, negative two-thirds times negative one-fifth again using our heads two negatives makes this a positive answer top times top means two times one is two bottom times bottom means three times five is fifteen I think that's as far as it goes because I don't think you can divide two by fifteen math enter enter again reduces that and two fifteenths is it or again you can type it in parentheses negative two divided by three times parentheses negative one divided by five math enter enter and you get the answer that you're looking for so make sure that you know how to do at least the calculator work uh, for some of you you say that you really don't know how to do the other stuff but as long as you know how to use that calculator uh, you'll still mess up in certain areas where they where the calculators aren't available but at least you can work your way through some problems that really aren't always that easy to divide fractions uh, here's one small shift again another notes that you want to write is this part so you might want to pause the video for a second while you write that when you divide fractions without a calculator the phrase is keep change flip keep means rewrite the first fraction as it is change means change the division into a multiplication sign and flip means flip the second fraction over again pause the video if you need more time to write that because I am moving in three two one here we go so some quick examples for your division again if we're doing this without a calculator the first thing we do is keep the first one the same so four-thirds stays four-thirds we change this division into a multiplication symbol and then we flip the second sign or flip the second fraction which means a negative stays but it should be seven over two now that it's a multiplication problem notice you have one negative so your answer is negative top times top as we learned four times seven makes twenty eight bottom times bottom three times two makes six and then twenty eight over six math enter enter reduces it to be negative fourteen over three again this is if you had to do it without a calculator if you had to do some work on your own to find the answer but again you can type this in using your calculator and again you might want to try it for yourself to make sure because you're going to see questions like this uh, fractions go in parentheses so four-thirds divided by parentheses negative two divided by seven close it math enter enter and notice your answer 
negative 14 over 3 is what we're looking at over here. All right. Again, another fraction here that's being divided. Keep, change, flip means, again, keep the first fraction the same, negative 4 ninths. Change means change that into a multiplication symbol. Flip means flip this fraction over to be 2 thirds. Two negatives in this problem, as we learned yesterday, makes it positive. 4 times 2 makes 8. 9 times 3 makes 27. And I don't think you can reduce 8 over 27, but I'm going to try it real fast in my calculator and see that you cannot reduce it, so that is the answer. But again, in terms of your calculator, I hope you're typing this in for yourself. Negative 4 ninths gets typed in using your parentheses, divided by parentheses negative 3 divided by 2, which when you do math, enter, enter, you see is 8 over 27. All right. So the most important thing for today is just that you understand how to, what I say, program your calculator. Uh, so let's just look at a couple more examples and make sure that skill is still sharp. Just remember that every time you type a fraction in, that you want to use a parentheses, no matter if it's in the problem or not. If it's in the problem, use it. But even if it's not in the problem, if you're typing in a fraction, use a parentheses. So 5 ninths plus negative 1 sixth. This, again, gets a parentheses. 5 divided by 9. Copy that part plus. Then you see a parentheses and a negative 1 divided by 6. Close. You get a decimal. And again, the second thing you have to remember is math. Enter, enter is how you turn it into a fraction again. And you get the answer of 7 over 18. I have to make sure you know how to use these calculators because if you're going to get into some of the numbers that are going to be there, be here in the future, you need to make sure you're ready for it. Looking at this question, if I was going to type it in, 8 over 11, again, should be put into parentheses, divided by parentheses, negative 5 divided by 22. Math, enter, enter, and I get the answer of negative 16 over 5. It is that easy. As long as you know how to program your calculator, everything will be fine. Now, this is one you haven't seen, and this is one where you get a fraction inside of a fraction, but you have to remember that this symbol here means divided by. So whenever you see this kind of problem, all you have to do is rewrite it using the division symbol, which means you're doing three-fifths divided by two-thirds. Just like whenever we see 10 over 6, we type in 10 divided by 6, because it's that divided by that. Same thing, this is three-fifths divided by two-thirds, which is how I would write it first, or at least visualize it, and now all of a sudden we just type it in. So 3 fifths gets put into a parentheses divided by 2 thirds gets put in also into a parentheses. Math, enter, enter, and you get the answer of 9 over 10. So again, the, today's assignment um, is review from this week. It's also review some review from last week. It's also review from the week before because again we are getting closer to this test and we got to make sure that this stuff is in your head. Just make sure that you are, um, again, getting ready for this test and getting ready for this stuff and trying your best to work through the questions that I have available for you. They are not there to torture you. They are just there to make sure you still remember how to work these problems out so that when the test comes up, you'll be ready to perform and ready to do well. Um, again, this is um, more of a programming day, so most of the questions that are on here, uh, you'll be able to use your calculator on. Just be sure you're asking for assistance. I cannot force you to uh, ask for help and I cannot help you until you ask for help so make sure you're doing your part and I'll be glad to help you out as much as you need good luck